Hello and welcome to the tracking video of the National Educational Cycle for OGX. Uh, this is a video just for the VPs um, since uh, you as VP as Vice President are the one who is actually responsible for tracking the performance of your department and tracking the performance of your members. So welcome to this video. Um, and uh, I will first of all present the tracking routines to you. So we have different routines and different frequencies um, where we will do these routines. So first of all, of course, EXPA. Um, you have to check EXPA at least once a day um, for new signups and for new applications. Why at least once a day? Because we have our um, standard of contacting EPs at least um, within 24 hours. So if you just check it once a day, the EP might sign up um, shortly after you checked EXPA and then you will just check it um, once in the morning, once in the evening or whatever uh, on the other day and then it will be more than 24 hours and your members don't even have the chance to actually contact this EP within 24 hours. So let's make sure to check it at least once a day. Then about the performance report, the performance report um, will be presented weekly um, by the MC, DP or GX in the respective WhatsApp and Telegram groups. Then uh, you should um, at least once a week follow up on your members with their EPs. So just to be there to support them um, if they have any problems, to ask them how it's going, to make sure that uh, actually your EPs are moving on in the process and you are members don't forget about them then uh, at least once a week um, usually before meetings where you have to report about your progress uh, you should update the tool um, that the, your planning tool and tracking tool um, with the tab ogx kpi tracking and then um, at least once a month you should update the tab in there which um, is called monthly goal ogx which was your overall um, planning tool. Then uh, don't forget to also update your strategies. You should at least uh, once a month come back to your OGV strategies. Should not forget uh, what was um, your focus for this month. And uh, feel free to also review this more often. Uh, every time you sit down and uh, come up with plans for the upcoming week, you should have your strategies in mind. Then we're back to EXPA because EXPA is our main tracking tool where we get all data and all information, all numbers from. So um, of course you will have a very good overview and be able to track um, your EPs and members uh, by using the people. Um, here it's very helpful to use the filters. So really use them to just use specific EPs based on what you're currently looking at. So for example, for the last month, for the last week, um, EPs in different stages <clears throat> of the process or with a different status from specific EP managers. When you have a check-in with one of your members, just select EPs where this person is assigned as EP manager, for example. Um, this can be very helpful for you. And then on the right side, um, you can always adjust what you want to see in your preview. So really utilize this, adjust it to your needs so you um, have everything visible um, without needing to, to open every single profile. So for example, you can put the, for sure the name of the EP, otherwise you don't know who you're talking about. Put the status so you know how far this EP is in the process. Um, when they signed up, so you know, okay, how how long uh, is it a goal? How, how long are they already in the process? Who's the manager? Always important for you to know who to ask to follow up. Um, and then also check follow up and followed up at. So to know when, like, when was this EP contacted? Was this EP contacted? And um, what is the current situation? So is this EP interested or not? And also the referral, where is this EP coming from? Um, are your marketing actions you're planning with your um, VP marketing uh, are even working out or not. And then uh, also, of course, check the product. Um, is this EP interested in GV? Then you have to process it. Uh, if the EP is not interested in GV, but rather in an internship, then make sure to forward them to the national team. And then when it comes to the applications of people, um, the same here, utilize the filters to just mark EPs um, from like who applied to a specific country, for example, who are in a specific um, status um, or whatever might be interesting for you when you look at it. 
And then also the preview again, select um, the proper things to be shown there. So you are able to track everything at once and you don't need to open every single uh, application. So for sure, put the applicant name, also consider the status, how far are we in the process? Then also see when did this EPHD apply? Um, to which opportunity, because especially there, you can also see the product this person applied to with the small um, logos of the different products. And then where did the CP apply to? The host MC, so the, the country, but then also the host LC, which LC did the EP apply to? Then, um, especially for tracking, analytics is very crucial. So we have two different um, um, types of analysis we have this is very that is very um, helpful for us which is mainly the performance and the graphical in performance you will have your daily kpis key performance indicators visible so your numbers you're actually generating so uh, your achieved numbers uh, that you will be tracking during your term then the other thing we have is graphical so uh, as we said, performance is rather on a day-to-day -day basis, and graphical can give you um, a trend over time. So if you're, for example, comparing, okay, how was um, the distribution of, of KPIs over the last few months, weeks, days, or if you want to see how previous um, terms were like, like in the past years and so on, it can give you a better overview, especially about the trends over time. Looking into them uh, specifically, if you look into the graphical um, analysis, which was the second one I explained right now, um, also here you have to use the filters, otherwise it will not show anything. So you always have to put the exchange type, which is outgoing for us, then the interval, um, what do you want to see? When, do you want to see it per month, per week, per day? Then the, uh, the product, which is for you usually global volunteer. Keep in mind that during COVID, we changed from um, the old version of Global Volunteer um, to the new version. So recent um, data will be Global Volunteer new and old ones will be Global Volunteer or Global Volunteer old. So just keep this in mind. If it does not show anything, just check if you have uh, selected the right product. And the entity, I put Uganda here, but of course you can directly check for your LC and then always put a proper time period you want to look at. Um, so it gives you a nice overview. Then uh, down there, you can select the status you're actually interested in. I mean, you see that you will always find all um, different numbers for the different statuses, but then select the ones you want to um, see in the graphical analysis. Then when it comes to the performance part, this is purely numbers now. Again, here, you have to put the filters. Um, again, you can select your LC for the entity and then at least put the time period. Uh, I usually don't use anything else because if you use, for example, the product, then you will, um, especially for the signups, um, lose a lot of, a lot of um, numbers there um, that just get lost because uh, there were no, there was no product interest assigned. So rather focus on um, these two filters and then just scroll down through all these numbers. When you um, are looking for numbers, for signup numbers, always check for open and then OGX. Don't select or like don't check for the numbers of GV because GV is just uh, just shows which for which EP the product interest was actually selected. So if you did not select the product interest, then this will not be reflected here. Uh, in GV, but will just be reflected in OGX. So always for signups, check OGX. And then when it comes to the other um, stages and steps of the customer flow, so starting from applied to accepted and so on, you can um, always go to OGV because then of course, when someone applied, we know, okay, did they, did they apply for GV, GTA, GTE? Here, we always have two uh, options. Like you can see here, we always have APL, which means um, the applications, and PPL for people. So this, uh, the difference here is uh, one person can apply to different, like several opportunities. So um, if we check the applications, we're actually lying to ourselves because we say here, for example, in the screenshot, we have 92 
applicants, but that's wrong because we just have 92 applications that actually came from 14 individual EPs. So 14 EPs, 14 people applied to 92 opportunities. So when looking into this, always check for people um, instead of applications. And now what to do with these numbers you can get from the analysis. Um, you come back here to your planning tool um, to track your weekly KPIs, key performance indicators, the um, numbers that indicate if you are about to reach your measure of success, so your overall goal or not. First of all, always make sure to um, update when you last checked and updated this tool so that not just um, everyone else, but also you know how often you're actually check checking it and if it's up to date. Then um, on the left side, you have the overall numbers um, reflected for the whole semester. So it's just for the semester for half a year, um, but this reflects everything that you enter in the specific months and weeks on the right side. So never touch um, the overview on the left side. It just reflects uh, and is linked to whatever you enter on the right side. So you just go to every single week of the different months and um, you enter the numbers in the yellow cells, the ones that are marked yellow here. You enter the data there, the numbers you get from EXPA, as you saw before, where to find them. So you enter this for every single week. So you can have a proper overview uh, about your numbers that you achieved during this week. This will help you to be able to analyze um, your goal achievement. So how many, um, for example, signups, how many app applications did you plan for, for this specific month? And how many did you actually achieve? And this divided will then give the goal achievement. So the number of um, achieved divided by the number of planned will give you the goal achievement. How close are you actually to achieve your goal? 100% of course is uh, what we're aiming for. So on the right side, you will get the goal achievement and the comparison um, of how, how close you are in achieving your goal um, per month. And on the left side, it reflects for the whole semester. This is not just a way of your team leader tracking you or the MC tracking your LC performance, but also you tracking yourself and uh, you can use this to also track your members. Then uh, a more graphical overview um, for this tracking process is uh, with these graphs. So um, we have graphs in your planning tool um, for every month, but also for the semester. So you can come here and then uh, once you update the tool we uh, showed you on the last slide, then this will reflect in your graphs here. So here you have the graphical uh, performance and overview for um, February, for example. So the left side gives you um, the absolute numbers of your planned or achieved KPIs. So you see the gray ones are the planned, um, for example, applications accepted by hosts and so on. And the red ones are the achieved ones. So how many did you actually achieve in comparison to what you planned? And then on the right side, the axis shown there gives you the percentage of the goal achievement. So how close are you to achieving your goal? For example, looking at the accepted, so the third um, the third status that is given there shows that you plan for two accepted and you got one, which is a goal achievement of 50% because one out of two was achieved. This can give you like a nice overview of actually reporting also to your EB and to your whole LC. Then, um, of course, you will also need to have an overview overall for your whole year. Are you winning? Are you losing? So once a month, when you have your monthly reviews, you come back here and you enter the numbers for the whole month. So at the end of February, you come back here and you enter the numbers you planned for, for uh, you achieved for February. And then you will see uh, did you actually achieve all of these numbers you plan for all these KPIs? And then on the right side, um, you will see overall in the whole year, how are you, um, how, how much are you uh, achieving? How are you winning? Are you losing? How close are you to achieving your goal? On the left side, this also reflects again in the overall KPI overview. 
And then uh, last but not least, also your strategies are important to be tracked. Uh, otherwise, we don't have to sit down in the beginning and come up with a plan if you then don't follow up on your plan and strategy. So always, at least once a month, come back to your strategies, update the metric so you know if you're actually on the right track here. Um, update the metric for the overall strategy, but also for your focus areas. And then check for every single activity you mapped out, um, especially once the deadline is over, if you're actually working on it. Have you started with it? Um, are you currently in the process? Is it already done? And so on. And feel free to also adjust this um, if you have new ideas or whatever, um, add this there. Yeah, so you always uh, can track yourself, but also your team leader will be able to track you, which does not mean that they don't trust you. But tracking in general is um, actually just a way of them caring for you because we're all in Isaac to learn. So don't think that if you track your members, you don't trust them, but it's just that you care about their performance and about their development. So don't um, see it in a negative way if someone's tracking you, but actually that they care about your performance and that they are interested in what you're doing. And last but not least, we have uh, the OGX performance report. It's the report that is um, sent every week by the MC uh, to give you an overview about uh, overall how is your LC doing in comparison to other LCs, um, how many signups did we have this week for the different LCs, but also how many applications that we have um, and also how the MC is doing because it's all about transparency. So um, you should also be able to track the MC on what is actually happening. So this is the weekly update that is provided on uh, WhatsApp in the group for the VPs and uh, Telegram. This is it for tracking. As I said, don't see tracking as a way of people don't trust you or you don't trust your uh, members but see it as a way of improvement so uh, someone who tracks you is actually interested in you improving yourself so also track yourself track others but also um, ask for others to track you in case of anything um, come back to me um, if you need any support in tracking <laughs>